Hey, welcome. Uh, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 1. I'm gonna start a new character. And as you guys have, um, if you watch my other video, the uh, link, link with commentary, you see that I have him already created. So uh, this video has been. It's been. Um, I'm just starting to edit it. Editing for, uh, now. It's not live commentary, but. But um, I'll see where it goes from here. I'll try to make a uh, live commentary as I go uh, go along with it, but for the time being, right now, since this video uh, has been previously recorded, uh, I'm just gonna do commentary right now. I guess whatever if it makes sense. Sorry, not making sense, but um, just got out from work, so it's pretty late already. Uh, do evening, yeah, evening shifts, I guess, yeah. So I'm here just deciding what am I gonna create, and I don't like the haircut. That one's good, not bad. Well, let's go curly. How about that? Yeah, curly. And I decided to name him Tarzan because I made him deprived. Is that right? Can't really see it small on screen. So, how are you guys finding Dark Souls? Um, you guys enjoying it, or? What do you guys think of it? <clears throat> I was actually, um, I was actually starting to hate it since um, I noticed I would die so much. But now that I play, um, started playing it, I'm getting the hang of it, so I'm starting to get okay with it. And I'll stop talking now. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed. Shrouded by, fog. Shrouded by fog, a land of grey crags, gray crags. Arch, trees. arch trees, and everlasting dragons. Everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and there was fire, and with fire, and with fire came disparity, came disparity, heat, heat, and cold. Life, life and death, and, death. and of course, and of course, light, light and, dark. and dark. Then from the dark, from the dark they came, they came, and found the souls of lords within the flame. Of Isaac, of Isaac and her daughters of chaos, daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight, lord of sunlight and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, furtive pygmy. so easily forgotten. But 
But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers have the accursed dark side. That was a long intro. <sighs> Gwyn reminds me of Zeus, how they portray him, how they have him in the uh, in the cutscene. And uh, Nito's reminds me of Hades. Yeah, you start off in that you're in prison. Yes, much. Indeed. yes, indeed. The dark side brands the undead. In this Hear that sound? Land, yeah. The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Goes our hero, Tarzan. Tarzan got caught. And disgusting. I equipped Tarzan with with bombs. And you're about to see why I did that. Because I wanted to show you guys uh, something. If you manage to defeat the Asylum Demon. I don't need the sword. It's cheap. Can you open the door like that? No. So you have to get this item. The key. Which opens the door. And you're free. And obviously they give you the tips. And how... Um, how to play the game or what buttons what buttons do what all that stuff ooh iron fist I don't know if fist can do that but okay oh yeah back to that noise uh, the ones you're hearing about earlier the ones that um, I was talking uh, said about, you hear that? Though that sound pretty much, I guess they must have got it from Demon Souls, because that's where uh, they use it in Demon Souls. The ladder climbing is a lot faster compared to Demon Souls, so they made few few changes. Um, this game and compare Demon Souls. They have, you have bonfires now. Do I die? Don't matter if I die. Anyways, after you let the bonfire, you have you pretty much have to rest there because if you die, you pre you pretty much respawn back to the to the previous bonfire, not the one you lit, but the other. So you can see the bombs do a lot more damage to the guy, so it's better to it um, if you have it, use it. Because with the broken sword, you're not gonna do much damage. You're not. You're basically tickling him. And this happens. That was pretty easy. Hooray! 
if you defeat him, you get the um, great uh, demon's great hammer. I believe that's what it's called. But yeah, since uh, my player doesn't have the status, I can't really use it. If I do, I'll just I'm not gonna do much damage. Second bonfire. Pretty much that door that I took there. If this is your first time playing it and you don't have the fire bombs, just pretty much run straight to that door. Because there's no way you're gonna defeat that. Well, you can maybe. It's still possible. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but it's uh, time consuming. And I just want to see how much damage the uh, this weapon does, so I decided to give it a shot. And you're about to see it, not much, since I don't have the, the required stats for it. So let's try punching. And that's not doing much damage either. I think I do die here, actually. I think I do. Do I? Oh, oh well. I don't even remember. I think, but I think I do. Cause see, what happened was I made another guy, uh, another character, the um, pyro, whatever. I created one. But I ended up uh, getting killed. I'll tell you where. But yeah, I think it's this guy I die with, actually. I'm not quite sure, but really remember oh well there's a rolling rack uh rolling rack <laughs> a rolling rock here as you can see so in it goes the night that threw that oh, <coughs> corpse you. at you well in your um cell no, 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 no. thank goodness of course not i'm done for I'm well, I'll, I'll, die die soon. Soon. I'll die soon then lose my sanity i wish to ask something i wish to ask something. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? Hear me out. Regrettably, I have failed on my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well now you know, well now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Here, take this. Take this. An Estes flask. Gives you a flask. An Estes, Estes flask. You get five initially. And you're gonna get a key. Which, uh, if you don't defeat the demon, the awesome demon, you're supposed so to go up to him and all that stuff. And thank you. And thank you. Sucks. He's gonna die. If you say no, he still commits suicide. Show the man some respect. <laughs> if you say no, he dies anyway. He kills himself, so you pretty much cut the conversation short. This shield that I, you start off with, it's pretty horrible. It doesn't really provide much protection. Oh no, I don't die then. I don't. I'm trying to parry his attack, but it's not working. Oh, no, you don't. Door's locked, so can't do anything. 
I can't do much of anything. And from here, you put yeah, what I did there, see that you pretty much land, let yourself dropped, and hit R1, and that happens. And that's how you start fight fighting the Oslem Demon if you don't defeat him the, uh, the first time. You see that icon right there? That's pretty much from the creator, so they weren't lying by this message. Good job or whatever. You go on through. Here's a merchant. Again, from Demon Souls. Just gotta show you that. So pretty much here, you just pretty much um, run straight up ahead, and that's it. You're done with um, this uh, the training. What just happened? What? Pilgrimage? Did you skip some scenes? Shucks, no, 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 no. Freak. Oh, I should never done that. Oh well. Lordran. Uh... No, all of the things should be there. Oh well. So this is Lordran. Firelink Shrine. And there goes your bonfire. Rest there and you get 10 uh, flasks. Well, what do we have here? Talk to this guy. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Fate of the undead. But there's no salvation here. But there's no You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Huh. Too late, Sal. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One is up above in the undead church. The other two bells is far just two below. In the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Bring them both. And something happened. Brilliant, and right? Happened. Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, what you go? It is why you came, isn't it? it is. To this accursed land, the undead. <laughs> ah, your face. You're Very optimistic. Perfectly hollow. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Ooh, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter as a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, is to kill a healthy undead. And pillage its humanity and coveting thy name is only human after all. <laughs> what a don't try any. What a don't try any. Her right there, she's the one that upgrades your your flasks. So she's very important to keep, keep around. I'm gonna level up. Strength. Yeah, strength. Humanity. This is how you use it. 
You can use it also recovers your hit points. You go to reverse hollowing and select yes and you go back to human form. And now we have Tarzan. Which I kinda wish I would have kept them hollow. Kinda looks kinda nasty like this. <laughs> Dude, put some clothes on. Oh well, I'll just get armor later. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep he a teaches distance. miracles. I'd prefer to keep a distance. Awesome. Talk to him like two or three Hello. more times, and he'll I ask you to join his covenant. That we Currently, um, the character we start out with doesn't have a covenant, so pretty much lose your first covenant that, that no, you can join. Go ahead. It's for you. No, go ahead. In some covenants, there um, you have requirements. Oh my. They need to do before you can actually oh, join. I know you again. How about this? I, I have to awake my How companions here anyway. I have to awake so what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Would that please you? Very well. Then yes, first, it would. A covenant with the gods. A covenant with the gods. Sure. Now, you see why not? Me share my miracles. Now, Only share their my ultimate effectiveness Only will be determined by your efforts will be and your faith. Your and your faith. Now, pretty much, you don't have the magic um, magic point bar. You don't have that. Pretty much, it depends how much faith you have, and that's the you amount that you're gonna get. In order that you're el eligible to use. So you want to go here? Uh, yeah, go right up here. I wonder what kind of upgrades you can do on the club. Down here, you don't want to fight these guys early on. You don't. Because you're not going to do much damage on them. So the best thing to do, which is what I'm doing right now, is just run away. And I don't have any armor, so... Pretty much the hits that I take are... It's gonna cost me to have a lot of damage, and they're following me, bastards. So, in order for them to respawn or go back to where they belonged, I just decided to go to the bonfire instead. So next time I'll, next playthrough I'll go up there and teach you guys where that leads to. See ya.